guys, I hope you're all well. Today I'm filming a what's in my bag video. I said the other day when someone asked me if I'd do a what's in my bag video that I probably wouldn't because generally my bag is quite tidy, there's not much in there. However, I looked at my bag today and I was like, my bag is full and it's really heavy. So this might be a good time to film a what's in my bag. I think because I was busy last week, I've been shoving stuff in and I haven't really sorted it out. So it's really heavy. Um, the bag I have, the bag in question, is a YSL um, Cabas Trapeze in matte black leather and then black suede at the sides. It's in this really, this is really heavy, this nice trapeze shape. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. It's got gold hardware with YSL on the front, on the button, like the popper. And then there's a gold zip. But I haven't zipped it up today just so I can get in it easily to show you. Um, the YSL bit on the front, actually, a lot of the um, Cabas bags, are, like the wire is quite shiny, whereas this one is a bit more antique -y. Um It has this cute little luggage tag on it which says Saint Laurent. Um, and it also comes with a strap so you can wear it across the body. Um, but I obviously don't do that, I don't need to, I just place this on my lap and it sits on my lap perfectly. Um, the only downside with this bag, I would say, is that it marks quite easily. I've only had this since January, I think, January or December. Maybe December, actually. And um, it's marked very easily, um, so I've had to get some stuff to try and buff out the like, little marks. And it seems to uh, attract dust onto the suede areas. But it's a beautiful bag, I love white cell bags. So, I am going to show you what I have in here. Okay, it's like a lucky dip. Sorry, you can keep seeing my ring line in the background. Screw in front of my mirror. So, first of all, we have some tissues. These are luxury soft fatting tissues from Tesco. It's always good to have tissues. Let me move my bag. It's always good to have tissues, something in your bag, because you never know when you may need them. I mean, why wouldn't you want tissues in your handbag? These tissues are really dirty. But, well, first tissue is, because I haven't been stuck down that. They look like they've been in my bag for a long time. But I think it's always good to have tissues in your bag. Oh, what else are we gonna get in the lucky dip? Ah, well, of course I would have this. Hand sanitizer. I'm such a clean freak, and when you like go to London and stuff all the time, it's like, I wanna wash my hands, and I hate feeling grubby. Like, I always say when I'm on the train home, even when I've used this, I was like, I can't wait to wash my hands. So. I think a hand sanitizer when you're out and about is a necessity. Like, you, you, you can't go out without it. Like, this is a definite necessity in my bag. I'm not so passionate about it. Hand gel, be clean, don't be gross. <laughs> of course, I have my favorite lipstick. This is Tom Ford Nude Vanille. This is my favourite nude lipstick. I bought it two years ago and it's still going strong. This is a pricey lipstick, but you would have seen me wear it so many times. So it's so worth it and I love the packaging. It really matches my bag. <laughs> and for those of you who haven't seen me show it before, it's this real nude colour. It's beautiful. I've only got that much left, so maybe I will need to repurchase soon. This is like a sorting out my bag as well, because I'll probably take loads of this out. Ah, uh, okay. So in my bag, I also have this G and T, G and T, G T N, I think, G T N spray and uh, glycerol tri nitrate. This spray you spray under your tongue, and I've only used this like three times in my whole entire life, like ever since I was quadriplegic. Um, this basically um, sorts your blood pressure out if you're going autonomic. I spoke about autonomic dysreflexia before, and it's where you know if something's causing me pain, my body will sweat my blood pressure will skyrocket, I've got low blood pressure generally but it goes really high and it's really dangerous and it could give you a stroke, a heart attack, you know, it can kill you. So this spray will bring your blood pressure back down to a normal rate and how your blood pressure normally is. Um, so I have this with me wherever I go just in case something bad happens and I need it because it is a necessity in my, for my disability and my injury. But like I said, I've only used it a couple of times, so, and I was, wasn't even sure if I actually need it on those times, but I just kind of, was a, it was a, like a precaution, so I didn't get worse. 
I have a flamingo pen. I got this the other day with some dry shampoo I was sent in a PR package and I was like, that is so cute. I'm definitely putting that in my handbag because who doesn't love fl flamingos? And it's always good to have a pen and in your bag, it's always good to have a pen with a lid because there's no way I'm putting a biro in my handbag where the lids like just fall off really easily and this lid looks pretty secure at the moment. So I'll be using this for a while. Next, I found some paper in my bag. Um, let's open this up. What is this? Okay, this is the Princess Trust Celebrate Success Awards tickets. So that was from last week. So Mike and I haven't opened the bag. It's got mine and Mike's names on it. So they can actually go down there because so I will throw those away. Next, we have <laughs> mine and Mike's passports. They should not be in my bag. I took these with us last week as well because we had to show them as ID, but we didn't even have to show them as ID. So we were told, take your passports because it's really strict because obviously Prince Charles would be there, but we didn't even have to show our passports. So these are in my bag for nothing. I don't like taking my passport out unless I really have to because the passport's so important. And yeah, so I'm going to take these out as well. So I'm putting them on the side. I don't want to ruin the background, but I'll just put them on my lap. <laughs> I put these in my bag a couple of days ago. These are my boots points. So I think these are handy. Like if you have these sort of things, I'm so bad that I'll just put them in my drawer. But I thought I would put them straight in my handbag. So then if I need boots, I'll actually use them because there's like five pounds worth of points, a hundred points when you buy a certain product and stuff like that. So I thought, what's the point of not having them in your bag? Because really you're saving yourself some money. And oh, it says, Collect £10 worth of points for every £50 you spend in store until 23rd of March. Pretty awesome. So, handy to have in my bag. I think I might put them in my purse though because that looks a bit messy. I don't like things to be messy. Uh, here I have a perfume sample, but I'm a bit worried, guys. I've hardly used this and there's only like two centimetres left, a centimetre left, maybe? Yeah. And it's Charlotte Tilbury's Scent of a Dream. I liked this because it was a mini, obviously, and it was a spray. Whereas a lot of the minis, you have to tip them out onto your hands and wrist, and it's really annoying. But I'm a little bit concerned that why there's only a little bit left. I really hope it hasn't leaked all over my beautiful, really beautiful bag. But anyway, yeah, I like to have perfume samples in my bag as opposed to a big bottle of perfume, just because they say groom and weight because obviously if I'm having it on my lap and if you're holding your bag you don't want to hold a massive perfume so yeah isn't it funny how much crap you have in your bag but it all seems necessary I always carry a cotton bud because my eyes water sometimes I like to like clear up any like black that will get under my eye or if my eye waters at the side and I've got a wing I like to just hold it there just to dab it or you know if you get like black on the inner part of your eye I always find it handy to have a cotton bud because it does save the day. And if you get mascara imprinting at the top, it just wipes away easily. So yeah, I always have a cotton bud in my bag. <laughs> and of course I would have these. I've got two in my bag at the moment. They look a bit dusty though. So I don't really want to drink out of them. I'll wipe them with a napkin or something, all with my tissues. Um, I always carry straws with me because I drink with a straw at all times. Um, well, pretty much most of the time because I can't hold cups very well. I can kind of like, but I much prefer to have straws um, and also it's better for your teeth. So it's good for your teeth and it's also better for me because I can't hold cups easily. So yeah, I like to have straws for me in case someone doesn't have one. I have a little flamingo notepad. I have no idea because I can't really write. So it's pretty pointless, but I've got the pen. So I was like, well, I'll put the notepad in too. Maybe like whoever I'm with might need to write something down or, you know, you never know when you might need a notepad. Someone may need my email address and I don't actually have any business cards, which I should do really. So yeah, I put this in my bag. Probably pretty pointless, but you never know when you may need a piece of paper. I have um, a little sachet of sachet. I don't know. I have a little packet of paracetamol. I like to have paracetamol or something with me just in case. For emergencies i don't have like tablets just for any reason um but i like to have them just in case like 
I feel a bit rough or you know it's just handy to have especially on long days not necessarily from just going around town but if I go to London for the day or something I like to have some paracetamols obviously these are nearly all gone so I have used them but sometimes like whoever I'm with might need them as well so I like to have some paracetamols just because they're always handy and of course I have my purse this purse is so good so I was kindly sent this by Wizards Publicity, how lovely of them, sent me this gorgeous purse, it's by a brand, it says HB on the back, I will link it below because it's got my initials on it and it's this gorgeous green kind of leather and it's got gold hardware and inside it's so cool because there's a little portable charger. Now it doesn't have a lot of charge in it but it's pretty good for just you know everyday use and if you're out and about in the day. Um, so you can charge your phone in your purse so you don't have to carry a portable charger around with you so that is really awesome um, yeah like I say for day to day but this purse is so cute it's really minimal but stylish and I like it and I love personalised things so I'm so happy it's got my initials on it and then finally I know I've got a portable charger in my purse but I do like to carry a portable charger and this is in my bag from London last week um, I generally don't have this, I probably will take this out of my bag now actually, but um, if I'm going out for like a long, long day, then I don't like to just rely on my my power pack in my purse, um, I like to have another one just in case, and also I like to have something for if someone's with me and they need to charge their phone, um, but this one's okay I think, I mean I don't know if there's better ones, this one is called Easy ACC, Easy Ac Power Bank. I think it was just from Amazon, but I've took the lead out already because it's the lead that you put into your phone anyway, so that's obviously in my actual charger. But yeah, I like to have this with me as well. So that is everything that is in my YSL Cabas Trapeze, I think that's what it's called, or Trapeze Cabas um, bag. Again, it looks like this. So nice and pretty. I really want a new bag though, and a lot of you guys will know it's the Diorama, I can't even say it, Diorama in grey from Dior. I may have to treat myself to it at some point, but I do need to try it on, because I don't know how that will sit, because it's quite boxy, and it goes across on a chain, I don't know how that would work with a wheelchair, problems as usual, but um, I'll see, if I do get it, then I'll have to show you it. I don't tend to do these sort of videos that often, because I mean, who does a what's in my handbag video all the time? But, um, but you know what I mean. But anyway, I hope you found that exciting. <laughs> it's good to have a little nose, isn't it? I suppose it's not exactly exciting, but it's just interesting to see what people carry around them. It's like a little mini lifeline, your bag, like the stuff that you have in your bag, your main bag, is like the things that you need, like, yeah. <laughs> And obviously in my purse I have, I probably don't have any cash because I very rarely have cash. I'll have like my cards, although it's pretty heavy, so there probably is some coppers in there. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe so you can watch more videos from me and our family can grow. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will speak to you soon.